Alrighty, we're live. I did not, did not clean the cache, run my Mac cleaner, do any of that good stuff before this thing. So I'm probably this is probably a recipe for disaster right now. Uh, this thing puttering out, glitching out. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But it uh, looks like some peeps are starting to roll on in. Look who I got here. Oh, he's blocked by the... Let me see if I can move this. bum ba dum ba dum bum ba bum ba bum bum ba bum ba bum ba bum bum ba bum ba bum bum ba bum ba bum 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 do 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 inspector gadget how's it going guys there's only six of you here that had to endure that although for the replay you all had to hear that nm pops and figs first person in the chat ski to leave a comment good morning my friend good morning I was actually going to uh, eat some cereal, but I decided to spare you from that. And I had my cinnamon toast crunch. It's my little cheat day, my diet cheat day. I've been sticking to the diet ski because I'm trying to lose some poundage. I'm cutting. Is the Hodge? Oh, there's the first glitch already. Holy cow! That did not take long. Uh, anyway, as those things, as the Hodge twins would say, I'm cutting. I'm cutting. Not gonna have fries because I'm cutting. Not going to eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch every single day because I'm cutting. Not going to eat pizza every day except for today because today's pizza day because I'm cutting. Anyway, what's up, guys? <laughs> uh, Roundhead K2000, how's it going, man? Kevin Vallejo, Justin Alaquinez, Jedi Howard 22, Brett Turner, WTF, it's Juan. How's it going, guys? Insane Goon, Jared, how's it going, man? Roundhead K2000. Uh, I'm cutting. NM Pops and Fig says, Pop, uh, fabulous disaster. I almost called you populist disaster. I don't know why. Probably because it's Saturday morning and I'm still feeling the effects from the vid shot. I got the vid shot yesterday. Arm kind of sore. Not going to lie. Arm's kind of sore. I also experienced that weird sensation that uh, a few other people have told me about when they get the... Uh, the Fies vid shot. <laughs> and uh, basically, the way that it's been explained to me is exactly what happened to me, where you get like a, a surge of energy right after, which I did. I had a surge of energy. And then at night, I could not go to bed. I had like insomnia, but I was tired, if that makes any sense. So I was tired. I wanted to go to sleep. But I couldn't go to bed. I woke up at 2.30 and I was up for like a couple hours. Best water ever, by the way. I think all water tastes the same. I think it's a mental thing. But for some reason, I just enjoy drinking core. Core and Fiji, they, did, I, they taste glitch. They taste like a glitch to me. God, that annoys the crap out of me. Is it my camera? What the frick is it? Is that a Huberdo jersey? No, sir. This is a Canes jersey. Kyle, Slapshot Toys. How's it going, man? Number 37. Any guesses? Any uh, Canes fans out there? Do you know who this is? 37 on the Canes. Carolina Hurricanes. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. If you're a Canes fan, shout it out in the chat ski. But let's see who else is here. I have a frick ton of figs here. Uh, that I was going to do for the Monday video. Shout out to the Monday SSN, Sweet Spot Network. I almost called it Sweet Spot Sunday, but it's not on Sunday. It's on Monday. Uh, but um, I was going to do a video for all this stuff, but I decided Monday is going to be a Hot Toys Collection video. Why? What's that down there? Two new Hot Toys. Two new ones that I just got yesterday. So I'm going to get those opened, get them in the case, and then I'm going to do a new 2021 collection video. And it's also going to serve as my proof for insurance purposes in case anything ever happens, like if we get hit by a tornado or something. Uh, and I have a video on the interwebs that shows in April of 2021, here is what I had, insurance company. So don't stiff me, you freaking ass clowns. 
Nice. Where were we? I've gotten sidetracked very easily this morning already. Uh, good morning to all of you, by the way. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Uh, happy post Hasbro Fan Fest day. Holy frick. I uh, spent some money yesterday on the pre-orders. Holy crap. I was not. Let me separate my tab here so I can t show you, tell you, tell you, show you all the stuff that I freaking pre-ordered yesterday. Good Lord. I watched that thing and I'm like, eh, meh. There's not a whole lot I'm going to pre-order. Well, for Hundo later, I got a whole big ass cart full in Big Bad Toy Store. So yeah, they got me. They got me in the wallets. In the wallets. Good afternoon in the UK from Lucy Hopkins. Hey, Lucy Hopkins. How are you? How's it going in the UK? Jose Pineda. Good morning. Robert Ott. Bobby Makovsky. Just stopping by to say hi before I go to work. Bobby, have a great day at work. I hope you have a great day at work. Kind of sucks you have to work on a Saturday, but you probably get other days off during the week. But have a great day at work. Enjoy your work day. Make the best of it. Retro Brick Studios, Sarah Ween, happy Saturday. Big Money Collector, Saturday morning. Cincy, Not every, I'm going to get to this uh, haul, by the way. If you're just joining for the first time, if you stumbled upon this, saw Big Toy Hall, and you're like, why is this guy just freaking talking? Well, I'm going to get to that. I'd just like to shout out everyone in the chat ski that made it here on this beautiful early morning Saturday. It is beautiful here. We were supposed to get some ridiculous storms last night, but they missed us. They, they passed south. They passed south of us. So uh, it's kind of nice. Nice out today. Anyway, Stuart Fulbrook. How's it going, man? Steve Maidens from the UK. A lot of UKers here. A lot of UKers. Big representation in the UK. I would love, I would love to go to the UK for vacation. Last time I was there was like 86. Last time I was there, how long ago it's been? So my brother was was in the Air Force and he was stationed at, was it Fairford? Fairford Air Station? I forgot. Uh, it was 86. And uh, I remember my mom and dad took me to go visit him. We stayed in London. I went to Harrods. And there's a glitch. I went to Harrods and my mom bought me a Zoids figure. That was freaking amazing. I remember that Zoids. I still had it. But uh, yeah, we went to Harrods. Amazing toy section from what I can remember. Uh, and then we also went to, I think it was Virgin Records in London. And they had a big comic book section. And I was only 11 years old. And I totally wandered away from my brother and went and looked at comic books. And he was like, where the frick did uh, my little brother go? And he ended up finding me. He used his common sense and knew that I was going to be either in a toy section or a comic book section. So he found me. Anyway, those are my memories. <clears throat> those are my memories from the UK. Uh, that and ordering a cheeseburger at, I forgot what restaurant we were at. And uh, a bolt, there was a bolt this big in the cheeseburger under the bun. And if I had not taken the bun off to check for onions, I would have eaten that bolt and probably shattered all my teeth. Anyway, anyway, greetings from the UK. <laughs> Those are my memories from my visit to London. Max Ugarte, how's it going? Retro Bricks, of course Kyle's here, Slapshot Toys. So I was mentioning Monday, the Sweet Spot stream. You will see a video from Kyle, Slapshot Toys on Monday. I think I'm leading off again. I think we've kind of chosen our batting order on Mondays. Uh, and I'm leading off uh, at a terrible time <laughs> because most people are still at work. But I lead off at 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So on the East Coast, people are eating dinner. My time, people are getting off of work. Mountain Time, people are still working. Pacific Time, they just ate lunch. And I'm going, I'm premiering a video. So yeah, I have a, an ass spot, but I like it actually. Because as soon as I get off of work, I can premiere the video. Um, but anyway, yeah. Check out Kyle on Monday. Uh, Sweet Spot Network. It's fun. It's fun. And there's less glitchiness like there is right now. You freaking piece of crap camera. I'm going to get to this haul because I've been talking a long time. Uh, hello to all 70 people that are in here. Thank you to all 19 people that have given thumbs up. And I've just been talking the whole time. I haven't even shown you the haul. I'm going to start with the stuff that most people probably don't like. Uh, and a lot of us that are in here right now did like. And it was probably a gateway thing to get us into collecting. 
but we don't collect them anymore. But I still do. I still do because I collected these things hard freaking core like five, six years ago. Uh, but now I'm just kind of sporadically collecting them. I, I've actually bought more Funko Pops recently than I have in like, I don't know, two years because of the properties that they have. And if you can, here's the thing. I know a lot of people like Funko Pops. They're so stupid. They're like bobbleheads. They're, they're like the next Beanie Babies. If you can find me an action figure company that makes McDonald's figures, I'll stop collecting Funko Pops and I'll buy those, okay? But there are none. If you can find me an action figure company that makes <clears throat> freaking Fred and Barney holding Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles, I'll buy them. But there is none, so I buy these. Now, let me unveil the Funko Pops that I bought. There's only four. <clears throat> and it is for a property that is near and dear to my heart because speaking of 1986, I was, I was big time into these guys. Um, but they are garbage. Pale Kids Funko Pops. Bam! So I got Leaky Lindsay. That's not coming down her face. These are freaking amazing, by the way. Absolutely amazing. This is wave two, by the way. Uh, so it's Pops for six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine. I think so. Um, I missed wave one. However, I found a website that is still selling wave one and I ordered them. Hopefully I get those because it's coming from Australia. I think I got split kit. So there's split kit. I remember owning all of these cards and I got J decay. There's J decay. If you collect the Garbage Pail Kids cards in the 80s, these have got to be a throwback to your nostalgia. These have got to hit that nostalgia point in your brain ski, and your heart ski. Uh, but these are amazing. I freaking love these things. And there's Alligator. Got a freaking fish in his mouth. Look at that 80s hair. I love these things. Freaking love these things. I'm going to open one just for the sake of old times. I didn't say that right just for the sake of old times, just for old times sake. I'm gonna open this. This is the first time I've opened this. I'm gonna smell it because, because of P2 vision. That's why not a whole lot of vinyl smell on this one. Not a whole lot of vinyl smell with alligator, but uh, I'm sniffing his, there it, there it is. I had to go underneath the hair. There he is. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. I need a, another uh, riser for my pops after acquiring these and after acquiring wave one online. Hopefully I get them. Bam. So those are, those are all of the pops you're going to see. We're now pop-free broadcast. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, a lot of us collected pops. We started with pops. They were our gateway to glitchiness and watching this dude that's online right now live streaming with a frick ton of glitch. Uh, they were our gateway collectible. That's what, that's the word I was trying to think of. Uh, but let's see, what are we saying? What are we saying in the chat ski? All right. All right. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm trying to catch up. Jeremy, Eric stream 21 is at work now. Have a great day at work, Jeremy. Have a great day at work. I did not go to that uh, Walmart that you told me about. Jeremy's a local collector. He keeps an eye out for me. I did not go to that one on 635 and Midway and uh, for the Black Series because I actually found those, dude, at uh, the – was that the Murphy or Saxy one? Uh, speaking of Black Series, I got some Black Series stuff. Bam. Bad Batch. The guy that kind of looks like Rambo. Hunter. Very freaking awesome. Very awesome. And speaking of Hasbro Fan Fest Friday, it's a mouthful. We got another one on the way. Another Bad Batch figure on the way. I actually have another Bad Batch figure on the way. Someone found a crosshair for me, and I, uh, I PayPal'd, and I'm, uh, I'm going to add him to the ranks. And then, um, what's the big guy's name? What's the big guy's name? 
I can't remember the big guy's name. He's on the way. And then we got, let me just go over, since uh, some of you might be wondering, hey, Cincy, after that Hasbro Fan Fest, Fan Fest, Fan Fest Friday, that's a freaking tongue twist. I can't even say tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. Uh, what did you pre-order after that? That event. Well, let me start by saying that I pre-ordered. I'm just going through my big bad toy store pre-orders. And um, some people I should reach out. Hey, Cincy, uh, where do you pre-order from? Well, you can pre-order from the, the ones that I am most comfortable pre-ordering from because I've had experience with them. That's not to say that like pre-ordering from like smaller shops is is not a good thing. I just have the most experience in pre-ordering from Big Bad because I pile of loot it. I keep it all in a pile of loot and then I send it all to myself for four bucks at a time. So I like the whole shipping method. But I pre-order mostly from Big Bad, Amazon, and Entertainment Earth. Usually in that order. Uh, usually I start with Big Bad and then I go to Amazon if they don't have it and then I go to Entertainment Earth. I've found that Amazon has been selling out faster than Big Bad recently. I don't know why. I don't understand why. I have noticed that some of the more popular Instagrammers, like Toy Shiz, a lot of people follow Toy Shiz, and he posts links to like new pre-orders, and it's always a link to Amazon. So that might be one of the reasons, because he has a ton of followers. So that might be one of the reasons that Amazon sells that faster than others. Um, plus sometimes on big bad, there's a slight surcharge. Like I'm paying like three bucks extra on here. Let's just go over what I pre-ordered and then we'll get back to the hall here and then I'll get back to the chat ski. Uh, and I'm just going to look at it real quick. Pinoy America, USMC. Yeah. Hunter is like Charlie Sheen from hot shots part due. Very, very, I did not uh, notice that, but yes, you are a hundred percent correct. Uh, Aaron Drury. Good morning, everyone. Happy weekend. You don't do Hasbro Pulse, Big Money Collector. I used to pre-order a lot through Hasbro Pulse, but for some reason, they got behind in shipping. And I would get stuff sooner from other places versus Hasbro Pulse. It should be the exact opposite. If you're pre-ordering direct from the source, you should get it first. But I found on a few things, I found on a few things that I was uh, pre-ordering, I would get it after. It would First of all, retail would get it first. A lot of times these pre-orders have turned into insurance policies for me because, I don't know, seven times out of 10, I'll find this stuff at a store, a retail store, Target or Walmart, before it goes active on Big Bad or Amazon or Entertainment Earth. I have an example of that down here in this hall, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, these pre-orders, I mean, the pre-orders are nice because you're kind of kind of guaranteed to get it, but at the same time... I get this, I find this stuff faster in store. So insurance policy. Anyway, what was I getting at? Yeah, why is Amazon selling out faster? They get new stuff up there three months later than Big Bad. They get new stuff up to three. Oh, okay. So I, I just think, honestly, I think that it has to do with a lot of people following Instagrammers that are sharing Amazon links. That's the only reason I can think of. Other than Prime, maybe, free shipping. I mean, there's... There's no other explanation as to why Amazon sells out faster. By the way, did anyone guess which jersey I'm wearing? Number 37 for the Carolina Hurricanes? If you guessed it and I missed it in the chat, repost it. Tyson on AEW. Yes, he was. Uh, it was, it was very because I saw a lot of uh, AEW stars um, took pictures with Iron Mike Tyson, which is freaking amazing. To me, if I ever met Mike Tyson, it'd be like meeting Michael Jordan because he's the greatest of all time. And he's, he's the guy that I was like, when I was a kid, Mike Tyson was the man. Uh, Mike Tyson's punch out. I mean, all of his matches that you would, I, I would just uh, hear about people ordering like pay-per-views, boxing pay-per-views and the, the main event would start and they would last like 30 seconds because he would knock the guy out. So Mike Tyson, so cool. I saw Ethan Page took a picture with him. I was very jealous. That was very cool. Uh, Kibon the Ebon. He bond the Ebon. Here in the Philippines, we don't have Big Bad or Amazon. We have Lazada. Very cool. Hopefully they get stuff in on the regular. All right. So here's what I pre-ordered. I'm going to start with the Transformers because that's the first thing I'm looking at in my pre-order list. I pre-ordered the Ark. The Titan class Ark. I realize it's ridiculously out of scale. I'm not going to have it in robot mode. 
I'm going to keep it in spaceship mode and it's going to kind of be a perspective thing on the top of my shelf. I don't know how I'm going to elevate it, but I'm going to find some kind of display where I can elevate it and it's like in, in flight mode. <clears throat> I might have to get one of those uh, flight stands that I have used on my X-Wing, which you can actually see right behind me actually. Nice segue there. I think I, everyone asks me whenever I show this thing, hey, where'd you get that flight stand? And I can never remember the damn website. I think it's flightstand.com or something, but I'd have to check. Uh, but yeah, I would get a flight stand for the ARC. It would stay in spaceship mode. And that's how I would have it displayed. And I want, I want the Teletran one, even though it's, again, vastly out of scale. Uh, but I pre-ordered that. So that was 160. Holy frick. Uh, and then we move on to uh, Rodimus Prime because you got to have Rodimus Prime. I, uh, I have Hot Rod, the Studio Series Hot Rod, and I love it. And uh, the Rodimus Prime is from Kingdom. And uh, I got it. Which X-Wing is that, Tom Bowling asks. That's the Vintage Collection Luke X-Wing right there. And Luke's in it right now. So I got uh, the Ark, Rodimus Prime, of course I'm going to get Galvatron. Galvatron looks freaking amazing. So I got Galvatron. I have a Scourge already. I have a Cyclonus. So my 86 shelf is getting a little full, especially with the addition of Rodimus Prime and Galvatron. Getting a little full. But um, hopefully we get a Springer and we, we get a Rekgar. And I th who else do we need from 86? I think that's it, right? Springer and Rekgar. And I know that they did a Springer and Siege, but it's not cartoon accurate. So I want a cartoon accurate or movie accurate Springer. Same with Rekgar. Uh, let's see. So we got that. I got, of course, Sasha Banks, Costca Reeves. I got the Black Series. She's going to go right on next to uh, Katie Sackoff, Bo-Katan in my Mandalorian shelf, which again, getting very, very, very full as we speak getting very full. And I have a couple items in this haul, which you're about to see, which are gonna go somehow on that shelf, even though there's no room. I'll have to find room. Of course I got zero. So Q90, zero, the droid from Mandalorian, I got that one. I hope we get more of the, uh, like the mercenaries, I guess, is uh, that episode. I love that episode, though. A lot of people don't like that episode, but I, I really, really love that episode. Uh, so I got zero. It's all adding up now. It's all adding up to that big <laughs> that big uh, number that I paid for this cart. Of course, I mentioned uh, Hunter. I got that Hunter from the Bad Batch in this haul. And I got Tech. I got Tech also. I got a child coming in right now. It is Tay-Tay gracing us with her presence live on YouTube. Hello, Tay-Tay. They can't see your face. All they see is Winnie the Pooh. Hello. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Yeah? Was Did my voice wake you up? No. I wasn't whispering, so. Well, happy Saturday, sweetie pie. Yeah. Are you going to eat some breakfast? Yeah. Are you still sniffy? Yeah. Okay. Good talk. Yeah. Love you, sweetie pie. No, uh, Sewer Fulberg says, no $700 self-transforming Optimus. I got to say, I got to say, the whole Kevin Smith, Jason Mewes part where they were messing around with that Optimus, that thing is incredible. That thing is absolutely incredible. That, that thing looks like the ultimate fun Optimus Prime toy. I mean, it, it's, it was crazy. I was, I was awestruck by it. I was absolutely blown away by it. I was also absolutely blown away by the price tag. Seven hundo, seven hundo. Good God. I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. Uh, I got to draw the line somewhere. I mean, I've, I've paid a lot. I, I paid a lot for that damn Hulkbuster up there. That thing was like 11 hundo, but most of that was in trade. I did a big ass trade towards that. So I don't know. I, I would love to get one because it just looks so cool. The novelty is so freaking cool. Um, but $700? Oh, 
<laughs> if I if if a store had it and I could work out some type of trade to go towards it, and I ended up paying like two or three hundred bucks towards it, cash out of pocket, then I'd go for it just to have one. But I can't pay seven hundred bucks for that thing. Yes. I, I kind of laughed a little bit when uh, Kevin Smith, when when Jason News said six ninety nine, Kevin Smith said, "I'd pay that for that." Of course you would. You're a freaking millionaire, dude. <laughs> anyway. anyway, what's an OF? Scream City fixes start an OF. I don't know what that is. Need a GoFundMe account for that, Optimus. I just need to. I need a store to get it, and I need to have stuff that I'm willing to get rid of, and uh, I need to just kind of trade towards it. Only fans. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. No one wants to see that. No one wants to see an OnlyFans from me. Good lord, there's much better looking people to get OnlyFans accounts from. <laughs> anyway, where was I? I'm still doing these damn pre-orders. Uh, Wrecker. That's the big guy. That's the big bad batch guy. He's in my. I stumbled across him. He's in my pre-order list at uh, Big Bad. He's badass. Wrecker. If I ever, if I ever got into cosplay, which I, I don't foresee myself doing that, uh, and I, I like joined the five hundred first, and I made my own stormtrooper armor. I would make Wrecker armor and, and be Wrecker. That would be freaking sweet. Uh, what else do we got on the pre-order list? Let me move to page three here. I got three freaking pages. I thought I got more than that. How was I, how was my bill four hundred dollars when that's all I got? One, two. I guess I guess that's it. I was going to order the Eye of Agamotto because I thought that looked really really cool, and I was expecting it to be a lot more than it was. It's only fifty dollars for that thing. That thing looks amazing. It's got the whole thing where all the things move inside and the eye, and then you take the eye out and it's still lit and it's not supposed to be lit because it's just like conducting light and all that stuff. Stuart, I didn't order any of the GI Joes. No, um, I did not. Because all the Joes that they showed, they didn't show Major Blood like we thought they were. All the Joes they showed were the movie ones. And um, with movie, I kind of want to watch the movie first. I kind of want to watch the GI Joe movie, the Snake Eyes movie. Sorry, I, mean, I want to watch Snake Eyes movie, see if I like it, see which characters stand out to me, and then I'll decide. I'm sure those things will be on the pegs. I'm sure the stores are going to stock well with those things. So, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. No GI Joes in my pre in my pre orders, but uh, yeah, I still somehow managed to pre order four hundred dollars worth of stuff. I, I got a lot of stuff in this big bad toy store pre order list. I have a Soul of Chigokin. Voltron, Lion Voltron, coming in September. That's three fifty. Good lord. Good lord. I'm good lording three fifty. Imagine if I had a seven hundred dollar figure in there. That is just like every time I look at my pre order list, I'm like, oh, that's gonna hit sometime. Anyway, I gotta get back to this haul here. Uh, let's see. What do you think of the new Power Rangers? They look pretty cool. I kind of like the. Oh, I, I will segue into something else completely different. The yellow ranger they showed with the kind of uh, metallic looking paint with like the starbursts it looked like or something was like glistening. That looks really, really cool. And what that made me just now think of is they, I saw a preview image this morning, Diamond Select. If you, anyone that's aware, Diamond Select makes Tron figures, okay? And uh, they solicited a three pack for San Diego Comic-Con this year. And the three pack is Tron, Flynn, and Sark in clear plastic. So if you collected back in, was it 82, the original Tron line from Tomy, the clear plastic figures, Diamond Select is making an homage to those figures. It looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. And as soon as that goes on pre order, I am. Definitely down for that. The three pack is 80 bucks. It's $80. Diamond Select, San Diego Comic Con, exclusive Tron, clear plastic, just like the Tomy figures. So freaking excited for those. It's I'm I'm done. I'm done after getting those. No more Tron. That's all I need. That's all I need. Is the is the, well, if they do a light cycle, if they do a light cycle, I'll get it. If they do a light cycle, yes. But I just need those three figures. 
I can't look at my big bad toy store order list. It's better not to see all that at once. Chris Mendiola says. Any new hot toys for San, Di San Diego Comic Con? <clears throat> I don't know. They haven't previewed anything yet. I do have two new hot toys right down there. And that leads me to a plug for Monday's video. Check me out on Monday, 5 p.m. Central Time, 4 Eastern. Uh, what is that? 3 Pacific Time. I'm premiering a new video, Hot Toys Collection. Hot Toys Collection. So I'm getting ready for all the comments on that video. Oh, you suck at posing. You're the worst poser ever. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. No shitsky, brother. I mean, I already freaking know that I'm not a good poser. <clears throat> but for the most part, I keep these things in museum poses so that I don't stretch material, stretch fabric. And just because, I don't know, I just like the way they look like that. Get off my, my sack, bro. Anyway, how's it going, everyone <laughs> that's in here? Uh, I'm going to get back to this haul here. Uh, let's see, Man from Room V, Diamond Select didn't happen to say they'd be reissuing the real Ghostbusters by any chance today. I didn't see anything. This was literally an Instagram post that I saw this morning uh, when I was uh, looking at, <clears throat> obviously, and I saw that picture. Renz Tolentino, what do you think about the Hot Toys classic comic Iron Man? It looks cool. However, I was talking to Dave Wheeler about this. They're free plug for our Wednesday uh, wrestling AEW watch along stream. Dave Wheeler, Robo from the Foosh, and myself, we watch wrestling and we talk about action figures. Check it out on uh, twitch.tv slash the Foosh. Anyway, Dave had uh, messaged me and said, hey, what do you think about that? And I thought it looked cool. Uh, other than the plastic, the clear plastic parts on the torso looked strange to me. They looked a little weird, those clear plastic parts. Otherwise, it looks really, really cool, I got to say. Ethan Nelson, how's it going? Cream City said, I just want Padme to drop already. And I'd like to see more episode three characters. MCT Dog says, Hot Toys aren't poser friendly. Thank you, exactly. Uh, there's a couple that are, like the die cast Iron Man's are kind of poser friendly, but for the most part, the fabric and the, the, the tight tailoring on these figures, you can't really like get them in like crazy ass poses like you can with like Mafex or SH Figure Arts figures. <clears throat> so, excellent point, MCT Dog. Brandon Burgess, have you found Deluxe He Man yet? Are you talking about Battle Armor He-Man? Because I have not. I'm still looking for that one. I haven't pre-ordered, but I'd like to find him in the wild. I can't find him anywhere in the Houston area. I need that old school heads. Exactly, Brandon Burgess. That's the only reason I want that figure. I want that old school He-Man head to throw in the regular He-Man figure. So I'm still looking for that one as well. David Menser, Fortnite action figures look cool. They do. They actually look pretty cool. I can't get into that line, though. I collect way too many other things already. All right, let's get to the rest of this haul. So I was going to call this, um, I was going to call something, the, the title of this video, I fell hard into two new black holes. One of those was going to be the Funko Pops, the Garbage Pail Kid Funko Pops. This is the other one that I've fallen hard into, and this is kind of a spoiler alert right here behind me. Right there. Motu Origins figures, guys. I got Hordak. Card. Beat to Frick. Look at this card. He went through the ringer, honestly. Look at this thing. And it was even like... It's like ripping from the card. It's still in there. I mean, it's attached. No one... I mean, stuff's falling out of it right now. <laughs> but uh, it has not been opened. So um, a little... Fun fact, if you take one of these to Walmart or Target, they give you 10% off. If, if, the, if the packaging is completely destroyed, like this one was, if you kindly ask, hey, do you give any discounts for damaged items? They give 10% off. So it's not a whole lot of savings, but it is saving. So um, a, penny saved, a penny saved is a penny earned, I think is the old saying. I got Hordak. I saw this one before. I passed on it because he had a little red schmutz on his forehead. So I got this one. Looks beautiful. He's already halfway open anyway. So let's just go ahead and fully open him now. Look at him. Origins, guys. These are freaking awesome. I love them. I love them. 
And then I got this guy, Clamp Champ. I think this was a target purchase. There's good old Clamp Champ. He's a deluxe figure, so he has the larger card. He also has a larger price tag. I think he was $19.99. I think that was the price on him. $19.99, Clamp Champ. Alternate head sculpt. Huh. Alternate head sculpt kind of looks uh, very vintage as well. Comes with an extra hand. Comes with his pincher weapon, his clamp weapon. Very, very freaking cool. So I'm still looking for Battle Armor He-Man, Battle Armor Skeletor. I definitely need a trap jaw. I pre-ordered a trap jaw, but I would love to get one in and find one in the wild. Um, I need a, I want to get a flocked panther, even though I found the regular panther. He is just sitting right here. So let me show him to you. There's regular panther with Skeletor. What might be cool, since I'm going to have two panthors, if I find the flocked version, is uh, to have the battle armor Skeletor on the flocked version. And then keep this one with this version. So Scaragolo, I have one on uh, order with uh, Badge of Fifth Collectibles. Badge of Fifth Collectibles. My friend Nark, Craigerson, the Sarge. I have a scare glow on the way from Craig. Very excited. I'm going to make sure I don't knock over anything. Very excited about that. What's left, guys? <clears throat> so earlier I mentioned uh, some Black Series figures that I need to put on my Mandalorian shelf, which is very, very, very full. Uh, and it's going to be very, very crowded and a little cozy when I get these two figures in. It is an army builder. How's it going, Michael Taylor? I am late. What did I miss? You missed some Garbage Pail Kids Pops, some Motu Origins figures that I picked up, a Bad Batch Hunter figure, and you missed everything that I pre-ordered from Hasbro Fan Fest Friday. So check out the replay to see what I did there. But uh, thank you for being here for the remainder of this. Despite the glitchiness, I really need to figure that out because it really bothers me. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, I think my audio continues while the camera freezes. I think that's what the deal is. Since you do have any of the classic figures, or did you sell them along with the Gray Skull? I have a lot of the Filmation classic figures. I actually have two more on the way. But yeah, I have the uh, Filmation ones. Brian Montero, what did I miss? I had a nice little haul myself last night. Very nice, Michael Taylor. What did you pick up? I picked up these two guys. Bam. Shore Troopers. Yeah, I bought two. I bought two because they're Army Builders, and they're an awesome-looking Stormtrooper. Shore Trooper was in The Mandalorian, the Bill Burr episode, Billy Freckles episode. Very cool episode. I love the way Slave One looked in that episode when they're escaping, when uh, when Bill Burr and uh, Din Djarin are escaping, and uh, you just see Slave One coming in, and they Slave One just looks so badass. It it, it like flies past them. Just I uh, I don't want to watch that whole series again. Anyway, uh, yeah, Shore Troopers. So these guys are gonna go on the Mandalorian shelf. So I got those. Continuing on with the Hasbro stuff, I mentioned earlier in the stream where uh, sometimes you find the stuff way, way before it hits like Big Bad, Amazon, any online retailer. And I was, look, I went to a place called Movie Trading Company, or is it Movie Trade, Movie Trading Exchange, Movie Trading Company? I don't freaking, let's see, let me look at the sticker. Doesn't say. Movie trading company. Let's just go with that. I was going to look at movie posters. I was going to look at movie posters. Then I was going to look at vinyl records. More on vinyl records in just a second. But uh, they also have action figures there. And a lot of times they have kind of like newer action figures there. So I went to their action figure set. And I saw these two and I was like, what the frick? How are these out already?
They're out already. Flint and Lady J. These things were not due until June. Big Bad. I just canceled my pre-order on Big Bad for these. They It said late June for these. Well, they're at retail already. Maybe only at specialty stores, but uh, I found Flint and Lady J. G.I. Joe Classified figures at Movie Trading Company. Yes, I paid a little bit more for them. $24.99. But I got them like three months early. So there you go. Chris Mendiella, Yo Joe, still looking for my Zartan and Trooper. Andrew says, nice pickups, but what was the Saturday morning cereal? So like, it was a Cinnamon Toast Crunch again. It's my cheat day. I've been eating really, really good every single day. My breakfast has consisted of a popcorn cake or a rice cake with peanut butter every single day this week. Uh, but this morning I enjoyed some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Jeremy, yes. Movie Trading Company. The one in Firewheel, specifically. Uh, so they might still have them. So definitely go. I've, I've been sharing that I found them there across socials. So I don't know if people have started to hit Movie Trading Company to try and find these guys, but they're there. So um, this glitchiness starting to get a little worse. Definitely need a new webcam if that's what the problem is. I got one, two, two more items. I got a bunch more items. Let me go ahead and uh, show you this one. So I actually went to Movie Training Company because I turned into a vinyl guy last week. I bought my first record player, or my first modern record player. And uh, I started to buy soundtracks to movies that I really like. And I started, my first two records were Guardians and Guardians 2, the soundtracks, because I love those soundtracks. This was my third purchase, and I just got it. I bought it from Tower Records online. Yes, my friends. Hell. Yes. Hell yes. Transformers, the movie, 86 movie soundtrack. The Touch is on here. Stan Bush, Instruments of Destruction. Dare, awesome song. Nothing's gonna stand in our way. The Transformers theme by Lion. The Transformers theme, amazing, amazing 80s song. Hunger, Dare to be Stupid, Weird Al. I mean, this is awesome, guys. So, hell yes. Got it on vinyl. Very, 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 very freaking excited for that. <clears throat> uh, another black hole that I think I might have fallen into. Spoiler alert. Not Inspector Gadget. This guy right here. Of course, it glitches right as I bring it to the freaking camera. Spike. Look at him. Look at the spike. Look at the chainsaw. Look at the face, the paint. Well, he has a minion now. He has a buddy now because I think I'm going to go very hard into this line. It's made by NECA. It's a Gremlins line, and I picked this one up. This is the Ultimate Gamer Gremlin by NECA. Look at this. Of course, this was the first one that I picked up because if you know me, if you watch my videos, you know I'm a big movie nerd. I love going to the movie theater. I love movie theater popcorn. And it comes with a big ass thing of popcorn. <clears throat> Look at the video game there. It looks like an old NES video game. Comes with a Coca Cola, a little video. Uh, this one right here, this little video game. I was referring to this one earlier. But yeah, it comes with that one too. Look at the different posing options you can have on this. You bet your ass I'm going for this posing option right here. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to have an army of these guys. Honestly, I'm going to have an army of these damn NECA Gremlins figures in my display. I have fallen hard. Um, you got to use the little stand. You can see he's got the little clear stand. 
because they fall over easier. They're very top heavy. He's got little skinny legs. So you got to use that little NECA stand. You can find those at Target. They're cheap, but um, I love them. I'm going to, I want to have this whole shelf full of gremlins. So yeah, there you go, guys. Where's the Cincy nerd gremlin? That was him right there. That was me as a kid. Video games and popcorn and a glitchy ass computer. This was me as a child. I was at the movie theater like twice a week, honestly. <clears throat> Have you ever watched the show The Goldbergs? The kid Adam Goldberg? That was basically me as a kid. Now, I identify a lot with that that guy. Um, I picked this one up. This is an H SH Figure Arts figure. I found this one on deep discount on Amazon. It's normally a $60 figure. I know a lot of people didn't like the movie, but it's Harley Quinn. I friggin' love the movie Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie. This was $38.50 on uh, Amazon. I don't know if it still is, but I watched the Birds of Prey movie. It wasn't the best movie, but it was entertaining. I was entertained. I enjoyed watching it. I would rather watch that than like the news for two hours. Uh, so yeah, I... Uh, I got this figure, 38 bucks, Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn, bam. There you go. Uh, what's left? I had mentioned a couple videos ago that I was going to uh, show you some upgrade sets. And upgrade sets are things that you can buy. They're third party, little tiny accessory sets or enhancement sets for Hasbro Transformers. And the Transformers that I bought upgrade sets for is this Sunstreaker. This is an Earthrise Sunstreaker. And one of the things that always bothered me was the hollowness of the legs. Let's see if I can see how hollow his leg looks. Kind of bothered me. Uh, so you, you can actually find and purchase an upgrade set where you can A, have a weapon for him, so he doesn't have to use this as his weapon because that looks dumb. B, have uh, little fillers for his legs. So it fills both parts of his legs. It fills this part and it fills this part. And you can actually leave the fillers in during transformation. I'm not going to attempt transformation on this video, but I'm going to show you the parts. Let's see if I pick the right one. So this is how they're shipped. These little cardboard boxes is how these upgrade parts are shipped. That is not the right one. See if this is the right one. This is the right one. This is how it comes. And I wish I remembered what site I bought these from. TF Safari, there you go. Brain started working there. TF Safari is where I bought these upgrade sets from. So if you are, I don't know, if you wanna make your Sunstreaker look better, in my personal opinion, you can buy the upgrade sets. <clears throat> So it comes with these, this spoiler because in alt mode, he doesn't really have a spoiler. So when he's in Lamborghini mode, you can actually add this as his spoiler. It's nicely painted, it's silver. Here are the leg fillers that I was talking about. These will panel in and fill his leg hollowness. Here are some guns for him. And Sometimes you saw, I think the toy version of Sunstreaker, he had a gun for an arm. He didn't have a fist, so came with these two. This was all like, I don't know, like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. It was very inexpensive. I think it was cheap like that, 10, 15 bucks, something like that. But to me, it just makes the figure look a lot better. So I'm going to just upgrade this one real quick because I want to see what the fillers look like. Again, here's the little parts. They're painted. They're even sculpted. If you could see, see the sculpt there? I know my camera's not doing it justice, but there is sculpting there. So I'm gonna fill these legs in real quick. And if I can't figure it out, then I'll just do it off camera and show you guys. It's pretty straightforward though. Get in there. All right, so there's one. You're gonna get that self-transforming Optimus. No. Not unless I uh, can somehow score one as part of a trade deal. It's just, uh, it's, it's out of my price range. All right, so, God, this looks so much better. All right, so here is, I did one of the legs. 
Uh, let's see if I could show you this. Here is the hollow leg, which I did not upgrade. And here is the upgraded leg. Night and day, guys. Night and freaking day. Honestly, I'm so impressed with this. Uh, so there you go. Sunstreaker, upgraded leg. I'm going to do both legs. These are so worth it, honestly, guys. Because Hasbro, they make good product. I think they make good Transformers product. This is the best, like, G1 we've had ever, I think, maybe, ever. Um, but their figures, the hollowness bothers me sometimes. And if you can buy a... I mean, this was not expensive. If you can buy just a little product that just makes it a little bit better. I mean, come on. Look at this now. That looks amazing. Absolutely awesome. So happy with that purchase. Uh, so the other one Z, that I purchased upgrades for. This is an upgrade for, and if you watched, if you watch Siege or Earthrise on Netflix, you know this guy is a complete badass. This is Jetfire, also known sometimes as Skyfire. And one of the things that he had that was really cool in the cartoon was he had an energy sword that came down from this arm, an energy weapon that he would be flying and then in mid in mid-flight, he would transform into robot mode and use his energy sword and like chop the Tetra Jets in half and then transform back into jet mode. And he did that a few times. Well, he doesn't come with an energy sword. He just comes with this big gun. So no energy sword. His coolest weapon he didn't even have with this figure. And this is like a 80, I think an $80 figure. So I found this third party upgrade. And it is an energy sword. Hell freaking yes. So let's take a look at this. Zaystro says night and day difference. Marco Antonio says, hey, hey, Cincy. How's it going, guys? Salacious Crumbs said, anyone getting NECA orders in? What did NECA drop? I saw they dropped the pizza monster. What else did they drop? My NECA orders are typically in store, but our shelves are pretty bare. Oh, NECA orders in store. Is that the question? In store sucks, bro. They got... Pre-orders up right now to get figs. All right, here we go, guys. Let me know what is uh, being is up for pre-order on NECA. So here it is. This is very, very well made, by the way. Clear plastic. There's even sculpt. Look at that. There's sculpt on the sword part itself. And then it's got a little hole there and a little plug. And you just plug it literally right into his arm. Oh my lord, freaking better. Look at that. And you could see the the clear part like let me kind of see kind of see my hand through the clear part there. Does that not display so much better now? I mean, look at that freaking thing. So badass. I fully, fully, fully endorse these upgrade kits. If you like, if you are not like, I don't know, like a stickler about your transformers and you just want a bot on your shelf, then they're good as is. But I like screen accuracy. I don't like hollow parts. Um, here's the other one that I got an upgrade kit for. This is Studio Series Soundwave from Dark of the Moon. There's Laser Beak. And uh, one of the cool things about this upgrade kit is it's uh, it gives him guns, which he does not come with. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Jeremy says that makes a big difference. Jerry says that looks amazing. Salacious Crumb says Rat King Pizza Monster and Roadkill Rodney. So those are, I guess, available on NECA store. You always got fire hockey jerseys on all the time. Yeah, this is my Carolina Hurricanes jersey. I also have the alternate jersey, the black one, which I really, really love. I got Aho on that one. If you couldn't guess which player I have on here, it is 
Svechnikov, Andrei Svechnikov. But uh, let's get to this guy right here. This is Soundwave. This is not entirely movie accurate because in the movie, he had like uh, like an ad additional part in front of the Mercedes symbol when he was in bot mode. And he also had guns. So let's go ahead and fix that with this upgrade kit. But Skyfire took forever to unbox due to all those twist ties. It did. I remember unboxing it. But at least it kept it. At least it kept it in place and uh, didn't wiggle around. The upgrades take the figs up a few notches. Uh, Maleka, 100%. Absolutely. So this upgrade kit comes with... There's the Look at the sculpt on that gun. Very accurate to the gun that he had. And it comes with not one, but two of these little guns. I think these are leg fillers. I don't remember. But it comes with two of those. And then here's the, the cool part here. There's the additional part that you can put on his chest to make him look more screen accurate. So I want to try and do that first. I do not remember how this thing attaches. I might have to do this off camera. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it off camera because I have to... Uh... Oh, wait. See if I could just do this. Sorry, I'm just futzing with this. Haha, -ha, Dancing Zemo is priceless. Did you guys watch the newest episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier? It was very good. We watched it last night. We also watched the Mighty Ducks show last night. Newest episode. A lot happened. A lot happened in the story. Woo, that ending. Holy crap, that was intense. Holy frick, man. I don't know if you heard that car revving his engine out there, but the douchebags are out, apparently. The douchebag woke up. There's his gun. There's his new front chest part. That one's less noticeable. It's probably more noticeable if you know what it looks like, if you remember what it looks like before that part is added. But it really beefs up his chest. The gun looks badass. Uh, let's see. Huge collector says it was great. Didn't love last week's episode. I liked, um, Sharon Carter was a badass in last week's episode. I like that part. I'm going to try and put these leg fillers in real quick. How do these go in? Aha. It's like a little puzzle piece. All right. How's it going, man? Good morning. Big dog pound one. Yes, indeed. It was intense. That last image, I don't want to give too many spoilers away, but the last image in this week's episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier was cray cray. Um, I do, I do want a Baron Zemo Hot Toys figure. I do want a John Walker Hot Toys figure. Uh, and I would even purchase a Sharon Carter Hot Toys figure, honestly. I cannot get these leg fillers in. So I'm going to do that off camera. I might show that to you another time. Maybe when I'm doing my collection tour. Because the next few episodes that you see on my channel that will show on Mondays, I'm going to take Laserbeak off. The next few episodes you see are all going to be collection videos. Starting with this week's, it's going to be a Hot Toys collection video. There's He's fully gunned out now. Look at that. This takes Soundwave to another level right there. I mean, that's badass. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Let me get him standing up here. Standing up. I think that's everything, guys. Did I go through everything? I got a stack of comic books here. Uh, let's see. Art says Sharon Carter Hot Toys. Yep, I'd get one. Um, David Mensert. I also bought the Revenge of Shinobi pixel frame video game from the 90s. Do you collect pixel frames? I don't know what pixel frames are. I'm not familiar with those. Got Beta Ray Bill issue one. Daniel Warren Johnson, very good artist. King of Black, number five. I think this is the final issue. This is a cool cover. Venom. 
King and Black crossover. Batman 107. New storyline in there. Green Lantern number one. I figured this was a good time as a jumping on point for Green Lantern. Issue one. The art inside looks really cool. Harley Quinn, White Knight, book six. Still have not even started this series, but it's Sean Gordon Murphy, so it's going to be good. Suicide Squad number two. Can't wait for the movie. Cannot wait for the movie. Crossover number five. We're into the image books here now. Firepower number 10. Damn, they're on number 10 already? Freaking book comes out fast. Robert Kirkman right there. I'm sure this one will turn into a movie or a TV show. Geiger number one. If you have not heard of Geiger, go get it. I haven't read it, but it's Jeff Johns doing an independent book for Image. Jeff Johns. Doing an independent book. Gary Frank doing the art. Gary Frank was the one that did the artwork on the Shazam backup stories in the Justice League book. Very, very good artist. Those are the comics, guys. That's the haul, guys. Those are the comics. That's the haul. That's, those are my pre-orders from the freaking Fan Fest Friday. Sorry about all the glitchiness in this broadcast. It looks like my audio stays on. Another glitch. This is really freaking annoying the frick out of me. I might just go from my phone next time instead of using this damn Logitech ass camera. Anyway, guys, let's check out the chat. There's 168 people in here. I'm not going to end it right now since there's 168 people in here. Thank you for being here. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Hopefully you had a great productive week. Uh, 170 in here now. Holy frick. People are waking up. People are waking. Where, where did you snag those upgrade kits? Chris Mandiel, a good question. I got it from TF Safari is the name of the website. Uh, I just got to do a little searching when you get there because there's upgrade kits for a frick ton of figures. I'm going to show this one more time because I just really love the way it looks. If you own the Jetfire figure... Energy sword weapon. I mean, come on. It displays. Let's see if I can get a cool, like, badass freaking. Don't F with me. I'm freaking Jetfire. I'll cut you in freaking half. I'm terrible at posing figures. So that's the best it's going to do. Uh, so that's that. Where'd my Sunstreaker go? The Sunstreaker with the filled legs now. No more hollowness. Since you didn't turn off the red light, the red light. Oh, behind me? I turned. I kept it red since I'm wearing a red jersey. Kanji Club says, Jared Luna, how's it going? Late to the party. Buy a Trace Comics. A Trace Comics. What are those? Is that? Oh, Venomized Beard. Thank you, man. Did you get the upgrade kits for? No, not yet. I'm gonna get those. I saw those. It comes with like the cannons in the front and the back, and the cannons can articulate. It comes with the legs in the back, and the legs can articulate. See that? It comes with the, the gun, the gun ski for Scorponok. I need to get that. And my beard for the Super Chat. That will go towards my upgrade kit. <laughs> so, And that will also go towards a new camera since this thing has glitched like at least 100 times during this broadcast. It's a Filipino comics, Vincent Films. Very cool, man. I got to check that out. A Trace A Comics. What's up, Cincy? Jeff Johns can write some good stories, but sure does screw up the films behind the scenes. No comment on that. <laughs> he does. I will say that his writing, some of the best comic book writing I've read. Uh, I really loved his Green Lantern run. I really loved the Sinestro Core War storyline. Jeff Johns is my favorite Green Lantern writer of all time. Um, Tom Bowling says, Cincy, you don't have to turn on the red light. You like that? How many uh, viewers am I going to lose? I just lost 10 viewers because of that. Tom Bowling, I was just singing that in my head. Cincy, <laughs> you don't have to wear that dress tonight. My family's probably wondering what the frick I'm doing in here. Singing high ass sting lyrics. While we have time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these take these out. Gun skis. Nate's Toys and Collectibles. What's up, man? How's it going, Nate? Good morning to you, my friend. Nate the Great. Syndicate Santa. Check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles on Facebook. Excellent. Excellent. 
It's everything that we love, guys. So check him out. Sting is badass. I just burst out laughing with the with the no comment. What no comment? Did someone say no when I started singing? I'm finding these flock panthers at several of my Walmarts. Keep an eye out if you want one. I want one, my friend. I definitely want one. All right, so what does this go to? Where does this gun go? Is this just an extra hand? I forgot, did uh, did Sunstreaker have a shoulder cannon? I do not remember. Nate said, sent you a PM back, since he from the page, not sure if you saw it. I did not see it, so I'll definitely check it out. We'll definitely check that out. I pre-ordered some stuff recently from Nate. Uh, you can definitely pre-order uh, things from uh, Nate's Toys and Collectibles, so check it out on Facebook, and I will, I will definitely see what you sent me, my friend. If you want a huge tote collection, you got to pimp that butt out. Man from Room V said. Uh, someone said something about the Inspector Gadget. This is the, this is how I have it currently displayed, the Blitzway Inspector Gadget. I, um, I had the copter head on the helicopter that comes out of his hat. I had that on, but I really like this pose right here. So I got that. Very freaking cool. Um, just watched latest Invincible episode. Don't sleep on the series, folks. Uh, yeah, I have uh, only watched episode one, and I have seen previews of other episodes. Holy crap, they kept that violence in that. Because I, I used to read the comic book, Robert Kirkman Invincible comic book. Uh, Viltrumite War is the one where I kind of hopped on to invincible they kept that violence in holy freaking crap um so yeah i need to catch up will you be getting the where's wally waldo figure probably not i thought about getting it as a novelty just to kind of hide it behind me during videos and to see if people can find it maybe do some kind of contest where the first person that finds wally or waldo uh I don't know, something, but uh, I don't know, maybe. I don't have too, like, I don't have a very large connection to Where's Waldo. I was a little bit older when those books started to hit. How do you pay for all this stuff? Do you ever have days or weeks that you have to hold off because of money being tight? I definitely do. I have days or weeks where money is tight and I have to go ahead and sell stuff. Um, and basically, I cycle the collection because I can't collect it all and it takes up a lot of space. So I'll have stuff. There's stuff in this collection that is never going to leave my collection. It's always, always going to be with me. There's stuff in this collection that I liked a lot at one point, And then I'm like, the, the luster is kind of wearing off. Eventually that stuff might eventually move out of the collection to make money so that I can acquire new stuff. I'm always cycling. That's how I'm able to continuously buy stuff. That's how I'm able to buy two hot toys on a Thursday. Uh, I just got to cycle stuff. I got to sell stuff. Again, there's things that will never, ever leave the collection. There's things that are like the mask stuff. I'm never going to sell that stuff. I, I love that stuff. Um, some of these hot toys figures never going to sell like the Iron Man and the gantry. That's my, one of my favorite. I don't want to get into it because you're going to hear about that on the Monday video. I'm going to talk about my favorite pieces in my collection but there's stuff that always going to be with me. But I don't know. I just kind of feel like as a collector, if you collect a lot of stuff, you kind of have to cycle stuff out. Otherwise, you, you venture into hoarding, and you don't want to do that. Turtle Build Customs. What's the most regrettable sale you did? Are you talking about the most regrettable thing I've sold? Probably... Um, and I don't know why I sold it. I don't remember. I, it must have been a good reason. I had the 89 Keaton Hot Toy Batman, and I sold that. That was regrettable. The Civil War Mark 46 die-cast Iron Man, which I'm hoping gets a reissue because it's really expensive now. I sold that. Um, there's a few here and there that I'm like, why did I sell that? 
I really wish I didn't. But the good thing about toys and action figures and collectibles is that if you sell something, you can always reacquire it. Uh, so, and sometimes nowadays you can reacquire it for a retail price because they reissue stuff all the time now. A lot of this stuff that goes up way, way, way high in value on the secondary, these companies are like, you know what? Why are these people making so much money on a secondary market when we can just make another one? When we could just reissue it. All these die cast armors, they just reissue them. They're they're better. They the companies are making money again. It's not high on the secondary. So anyway, did you ever open that NFL Prism hanger? I did. I got uh, I don't remember what I got. I got a Burrow. I got a Tua. I didn't get anything really great. Cincy, I still have the Comic Con Predator exclusive for you. Jeremy, yes, we need to meet up at, at some point um, and hook that up. Chris Mendiola and Nate's Toys, do you do online trades? Nate, I'll let Nate answer that if he's still in here. I know uh, Nate was doing trades at one point, but uh, I'll let him answer if he's still doing that. Would be great if issues. I'm just trying to think if we're getting any... Oh, I mean, we're getting a better Superman. We're getting a better Wolverine. Did you mean that ironically? Because <laughs> it, they are kind of doing reissues, but they're they're even better. Like the Tiger Stripe Wolverine that was like what five six hundred dollars. They're doing a much better version of Wolverine. And the Superman that looked kind of like weird in his uh, the original Superman that was like a four or five hundred dollar figure. We're getting a new Superman. It looks even better. So. So Nate says, I sure do. So there you go, guys. Hit up Nate because he takes trades in. So if there's something that you really, really want and you, you don't have the funds for it, hit up Nate. You might be able to trade something in your collection to get something new that you want even more. Stuart, I did not see the Jupiter's Legacy trailer yet. I still need to watch that. It looks very like stylish, though, just on the pictures I've seen. I've seen still images. Uh, Jared says, my wife is at Walmart now. Do you want me to ask her to grab a Panthor for you? Um, hold off for now. Because I just had a bunch of stuff go through and it just got charged a, sh a shiz ton. So uh, I have to. You asked, Someone asked me earlier if I ever have to hold off because I don't have the funds. That is the situation I'm in right this instant. <laughs> Because you saw the toy haul here. Yeah, all this new stuff costs money. I got two hot toys there. Yeah, I'm I'm I need to cool it for right now. Rob Oliva, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Since he for a new fig or camera, buy from Nate's Toys and Collectibles and Diorama or or effects from RG. Nerd Art? Art does diorama and effects. Art, you do diorama and effects stuff? Why is this the first time I've heard about this? Uh, please comment, Art. I want to. I want to know what uh, what stuff you got. Thank you for the super chat, Rob Olive. I appreciate that, Rob. So, Art Gutierrez does effects and diorama. Where can I see this stuff, dude? Is this on your Instagram? Uh, I got the Mezco blade coming. Should have got it way back when, but you know how that goes, man. From Room V says, I need some water. Uh, my kids are the same. I get more excited to go to the toy section than my kid. Me too. Although, Tay Tay gets really excited to uh, look at the Lego section because she's really into Harry Potter stuff now. And uh, there's a whole bunch of Harry Potter Lego sets. So I know the Lego craze is kind of um, jumping right now, but. I don't. I ha, I can't get into the Legos myself, but uh, I will definitely buy sets for Tay Tay. Uh, P Dog's really into like Barbies and stuff like that, so she gets excited for the toy section too. I just love the fact that they love to go to the toy section with me. As soon as they we walk into Target as a family, the girls are like, "Mommy, can we go with Daddy to the toy section?" That's the first thing that they say, and I'm like, "Yes." So we we make a beeline for the toy section. Miss Cincy gets all the stuff we actually need. <laughs> uh, so Jeremy just gave me a super chat, five dollars, just a little extra for new figs. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You guys don't have to do that. I really appreciate it though. Very very awesome. Thank you, Eric Stream Twenty One. Uh, thank you guys for that. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. 
Where was I? Mezco will do updated figures, but reissuing the same thing again to defeat the $500 increase on $100 figure not happening. Uh, Chris Barcode said that. Lord Luigi 23 Art G makes amazing stuff. Art, please share. We're, okay, in the nerd bar. Am I that oblivious to my own group that I started? <laughs> what the frick? Are you serious, dude? You shared it in the nerd bar and I didn't even see it? God, this is what getting old does to you guys. Yeah, you, you just like miss life. And on my Instagram. Okay, Art, I will definitely check it out. I apologize for I, the fact that you posted it in the nerd bar and I am <laughs> completely oblivious to it. It makes me feel very stupid. But um, I will check it out, my friend. Um, <clears throat> if Hot Toys will be making a John Walker figure, will be yes, Renz Tolentino. If they make a John Walker figure, I don't want to give away the spoiler. I really want to, but I hope he comes with two shields, and I'll leave it at that. If you saw the newest episode, you know what I'm talking about. I want a John Walker figure. I, I first of all, I really like Wyatt Russell. I think he's an awesome actor. I've liked him in all the stuff he's done. All the movies he's done. Overlord. Check out Overlord. He's a badass in Overlord. So I want a Wyatt Russell figure. Um, and it'd be cool. I also want a freaking Kurt Russell Hot Toys figure. Are they going to ever make an ego? Come on. Guardians 2 ego. He was the main villain. Make a freaking Hot Toys figure. That would be cool if they did a freaking Kurt Russell ego figure and a Wyatt Russell a John Walker cap figure. You get father and son. In Hot Toys form. Like actual in real life father and son. Not movie father and son. Uh, so yeah, I would... Frick yeah, I would buy a John Walker figure. I would buy a, a Sharon Carter figure. Even though it would just be like... Strain, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, street clothes. I was going to say strange clothes. <laughs> street clothes. Plain clothes. Because she just basically wears like street clothes in the show. Anyway... Baron Zemo, hell yes. Two head sculpts. Masked, unmasked. Removable jacket so he can do the dance scene. It, it almost looked like when he was in the, the dance club, when he was doing the... Did you guys ever see uh, Knocked Up where they were doing the, the dice roll? <laughs> the, the, they kept doing the dice roll dance move. I was waiting for it. That's what I thought of when I saw Zemo dancing in the club. I just thought he was going to dice roll it. Anyway, guys, um, what are we at? An hour 17. We're still 150 strong in here. If you liked this uh, live stream, please give a thumbs up. It'll help with the replay. Help the boost the algo. That's a new thing. It'll boost the, uh, the algo, the YouTube algorithm, where like more people that watch and engage and thumbs up, even thumbs down it. If you fucking, uh, whoa, holy cow. If you, sorry about that, YouTube. <laughs> if you don't like uh, my language that just is squirted out of my mouth, <laughs> thumbs down, it still helps the algorithm. It still boosts the algo. So anyway, if you, if you have kids around and you heard that F-bomb that just squeezed out of my mouth, sorry about that. I got the hockey jersey on. I think I'm on the ice. On the, on the bench talking shiz. I got to watch my mouth ski. Holy frick. There we go. That was better. Jeez Louise. Hopefully my kids weren't watching that when I just let that one. Language. Yes. Holy cow, guys. <laughs> I got to keep this PG. I don't want to be canceled. Anyway. Uh, at least King Shark doesn't have a British accent, Chris Barcode says. He has a Sylvester Stallone accent. <laughs> um. If you really want to see how I like what comes out of my mouth when I'm very, very relaxed, play hockey with me. because <laughs> It's a whole new experience, guys. There's no fricks out of my mouth when I'm playing hockey. There's a there's a whole lot of a lot of other words, though. It's so bad. Can't have my, my kids watch me play hockey because and I'm talking about like actual like not video game hockey, but like actual like ice hockey. There's. So much language on the bench, on the ice. Anyway, did you see Godzilla vs. Kong? Ramsey's Escamilla, yes, and it was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. I loved it so much. I'm going to give spoilers away because it's been out for so long. And if you haven't seen it to this point, I'm sorry, but Mecha Godzilla was freaking amazing. 
The whole movie was amazing. The whole damn movie was amazing. Even the little side missions to the Hollow Earth, absolutely amazing. I apologize if you haven't seen it. Hopefully, these little snippets of information will encourage you to watch the movie. I uh, entirely recommend it. I want to see it in a theater. I saw it on HBO Max on my big screen TV. It wasn't enough. I need to see it in a big ass dark movie theater with a giant tub of popcorn. I might even do that today. If I don't see nobody, I want to see nobody too. Um, anyway. Yes, Ramsey's. I saw it and I loved it. Uh, live examples of when to buy and not buy toys. Fabulous disaster says. Renz Tolentino. Zemo reminded me of Tobey Maguire. <laughs> he did kind of look like Tobey Maguire. He kind of resembles him slightly. Big Dog Pound. LOL. You guys are laughing at my F-bomb that I accidentally dropped. I don't know how that just came out of my mouth. Uh, Fabulous Disaster. Arts Instagram. Arts Instagram. Oh, so Arch Gutierrez. Check out his Instagram. Does great work. I'm going to look at it right now. How about that? Live look at Art Gutierrez's Instagram. I want to see what he's got since I feel terrible for not knowing that he even did effects and dios. All right, let's get to this. I'm in the wrong Instagram. I'm, I'm in my, there it is. I am in my personal Instagram. Oh, I did see these, the smoke effects and stuff that you had on the hazard squad. Gomez. Okay. I'm not as uh, oblivious as I thought the explosion effect behind a Duke. The, uh, those custom Chuck Taylors are freaking amazing. Uh, I love the explosion effects, dude. They look awesome. So check out, and I love the stormtrooper missing the toilet. That is hilarious. Check out Art Gutierrez, guys. It's uh, his Instagram. I'm going to give you a shout out here. Art G underscore collection on Instagram. Art G underscore collection. Check it out, guys. I'm going to wrap this up, though, because I think the family's woken up. I'm going to go see what the plan is for today. I might go see a movie today. Thank you for being here, 140 strong. Uh, please give a thumbs up if you like the uh, the video. I apologize for dropping the accidental F-bomb. Don't hate me for that. It, sometimes it happens, especially when you're driving. Don't be hypocrites. <clears throat> you guys let the occasional bad word slip. Uh, but uh, Nate said, I wish my theater would open back up. In Texas here, most for the most part, the theaters have opened up. They're still doing the spaced out seating and you still wear a mask. Um, Nate says everybody hit that like button. I appreciate it if you did. NECA Pizza Monster looks awesome. He does, Jeremy. He looks amazing. Uh, if I did YouTube, there would probably be a 13 red band trailers for the first episode, Chris Barcode says. Um, stay safe, Cincy. Have a great week. Yes, I echo the sentiments of Chris Mendiel. Have a great weekend, guys. Have an excellent, excellent weekend. Get out there. Do something fun. Buy an action figure if you find one. Buy a new Logitech camera that doesn't glitch out like this piece of crap. Um, go on and do a, a live stream and try not to use the F word. <laughs> but uh, adios, guys. Thanks for being here. If you missed any of the toy haul, if you missed what I pre-ordered from Hasbro Fan Fest Friday, that's a tongue twister. Check out the replay. Thanks again, guys. Have a great weekend and have fun collecting.